Hello everyone, welcome back to Iggy's Toy Parade and Soldier Review. This is your host Iggy. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about the differences between an original vintage G.I. Joe footlocker from 1965 and a 40th anniversary G.I. Joe footlocker from, I believe, 2003. So let's take a look at them. First up will be the original Foot Locker. I received this for Christmas in 1965. Um, my mom, I guess, had high ambitions for me because she made me a captain right off the right off the bat. Now, the first thing that you can see that's different about the the two of them is that the name uh, tags here name and rank tags and serial number tag are in this case appear to be slightly smaller than they are on this one okay the gi joe sticker that you see here is also slightly smaller than the gi joe sticker on this one i actually prefer the sticker on the 40th anniversary uh, Foot Locker because it's bigger. Now, this feature here is also present on the 40th anniversary. It's like a, a lip made of wood on the on the cover of the locker. The uh, They made a locker that was a Target exclusive, I think, for the 30th anniversary or perhaps the 35th anniversary. And uh, this, the lid was completely smooth. It, it did not have this lip on it. Okay, next up is the, uh, the clasp. And it appears that they are virtually the same. Yes. So in that instance, there's no uh, significant change to speak of. Now, next up is the rope handles. On this one, it has a much smaller rope than the 40th. The 40th also, it has enough room for an adult's hand, and uh, it's made of this pleasing olive drab color as opposed to this color, which makes me think, did I paint this? But I, I don't remember that. When I open it up, we can take a look and see if we can determine if it's been altered. Okay, the hinges on the original are two brass hinges. And this is where you're going to see a really big change between the two lockers. Okay, take a look at that. Uh, it has this one continuous hinge. Yeah, I'm not sure why they adopted this. Unless maybe uh, there was complaints that these... I've seen the original lockers where these had come out or busted out. So maybe that's why they switched it up to that. Now, on the original locker, the bottom of it is um, made of this... I call it graham cracker wood. I Because I, of the texture of it and the way it looks. I, I don't... It's not particle board. I, I don't know, pegboard or whatever you would call that. And then on the uh, reproduction model, it's just the same kind of wood as they have here. All right, so let's take a look at the interior. Now, on the interior of my original locker, uh, I need to let you know that it's not... Uh, Vintage. It was. A, it's a replacement, and what I'm talking about is this uh, label right here showing the contents of the tray, and uh, this is a reproduction that I bought on eBay because my original label, uh, the the uh, glue dried out and the the label came out, and over the years it kept getting torn, and and finally it ended up getting torn out or thrown out, rather, uh, sometime in the 70s. 
the tray is in fairly good condition on my original. There is a couple cracks in the in the plastic along the side there, but it's in pretty good shape. There's a major crack right there. Uh, and apart from that, it looks good. So let's continue. This is a surprise. I found this inside. I don't even remember putting this in here. But I have a, a Japanese infantryman. Well, actually, I was trying to make him an officer. Uh, but I forgot that he has these tabs. And these uh, shoulder tabs would indicate that he's a private. Uh, the lowest order of private, by the way. There's, I think, four different grades of pirate. Uh, pirate. <laughs> he's a pirate. R. He's a pirate. Keep a weathered eye out for borders, Jack Sparrow. Anyway, he's not a pirate. He's a private. But I wanted an officer, so that's why I put this pistol in the holster like that. I also bought a katana. Is that how you say it? So he will have that eventually, too. Now, the figure, you see by his hand, his hand is kind of large compared to this hand. Uh, the reason for that is this was a Hasbro um, G.I. Joe football player, I think from West Point. And I used the body. I ripped the head off and I replaced it with this very nicely sculpted uh, Japanese head. So he looks really good. You know, detail is really nice on this. I think I have like six Japanese figures now. I'm not sure. Maybe five. I don't know. Okay, so that's my original G.I. Joe Foot Locker from 1965. Now let's take a look at the interior of the 2003 Target Exclusive Foot Locker from Hasbro. Let's open this up. And, oh, I forgot I dropped the tray. <laughs> I mean, I dropped the locker and everything went flying. That's one of the disadvantages of this foot locker design is that Nothing would ever stay put. You you would pick it up by the handle, and then everything would go flying. But the nice thing about these 40th anniversary foot lockers is that... Here's the 45. Okay. The nice thing about them is that uh, it comes with all this gear that you see here, which is pretty cool. It looks like everything's in its proper place now. There we go. Uh, so you see that the the contents label has everything present here in the tray. Uh, someone uh, mentioned that what they should have done when they made these reproductions is make a radio that matched the where is it the illust wait where am I up here uh, you can see the radio is that green color. And then the ones that they provided were these brown with the camo spots or leopard spots. And uh, someone mentioned that, well, they should have, where am I going here? The green, that they should have done that. But, you know, all in all, I, I like this one a lot. Um, I I can't say enough good stuff about the 40th anniversary stuff. Now, inside, I found some 40th anniversary, a couple tents, a marine tent, a uh, army tent. Uh, apparently, this is very intense. Uh, and here's a poncho. And the difference between this 40th anniversary poncho and a uh, 30th anniversary ponchos this one is made of a rubberized fabric uh, like the originals and the 30th anniversary one was just cloth it, it was I don't even think I kept it I might have thrown it out and then there's a couple machine guns in here and some flags and uh, various other small things 
Now I have two more of these lockers. I have, I showed you one uh, about a month ago. I showed you one of my uh, lockers that I still have in the package, and then I have another locker with all the filled up with equipment in my storage space. Okay, guys, that's all I've got for you today on the GI Joe 1965 Foot Locker and the GI Joe Commemorative Locker, the 30 uh excuse me, the 40th anniversary locker uh with uh, the 40th anniversary gear. Okay, guys, uh that's it for this time and uh I want to thank you for joining the Iggy Army. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, once again, you were able to get Iggy with it. And I'll see you guys soon. Thank you. Goodbye.